Sean Cronin, Tyg Furlong, Alton Delan, Quinn Roo, Peter Armani will be captain, Sean O'Brien and Geordie Murphy. And in the backs, Connor Murray, Jonathan Sexton, Jacob Stockdale, Bundy Aki and Chris Farrell, Keith Earls and Rob Carney. The replacements are Niall Scannell, Jack McGrath, John Ryan, Ian Henderson, Josh Van der Fleer, John Cooney, Jack Carty and Andrew Conway. Um, yeah, there, there were a couple of guys who were probably available for selection, like the likes of Robbie Henshaw, but uh, we've just decided to give him an extra week. Uh, he, he didn't have the opportunity to do quite the volume of running that would have best prepared him for the, for the match, particularly if he was going to play at, at 15 or at 13, where, where a high volume of running is, is expected um, with the way the Italians play. Uh, Joey Carberry has a, a, a bit of a hamstring tra strain and wouldn't really have been available. It would have been too great a risk. Jack Conan just had a, a bit of abdominal tightness and, and again, we could have pushed him through, but it's a great opportunity for Geordie Murphy in the, in, at the same time. Um, and then, you know, there's a, there's a few other guys that, that are probably just rotated out and, and opportunity is being offered. Did you want to give uh, John Sexton more game time anyway, or if Joey was first with him? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we probably would have started Johnny anyway, to be honest. Um, he, he's had one game and, and, and 23 minutes since the, the Munster game, so he, he's had very little game time, whereas Joey has been uh, really uh, resilient so far this, this season and, and has had a lot of game time. And he obviously got the bulk of the game time in Edinburgh last week. And what's your thinking behind the chance in the pack? Um, some of it is just to offer an opportunity. It's to reward uh, the effort that we've seen in training and in games so far. Um, that's probably reflective of the Dave Kilcoyne selection, the, the Sean Cronin selection, the Alton Delan selection. He, he came on the onto the pitch in a, in a pressure cooker, really. We're up by six points and, and did... Uh, I think there were three outstanding actions from him that, that were really pivotal for us. So we're, we're looking to, to him to, to provide a little bit more of that. And that gave us real confidence when he goes back to Connacht last weekend against Man of the Match. And, and uh, his volume of efforts was, were really good. Quinn obviously did a great job for us in Edinburgh as well. And, and, and he continues. And, and Geordie has been training really well. So, you know, uh, across the board, those uh, those guys have earned an opportunity, and at the same time, it, it does offer us a little bit of an opportunity to to give some guys a, a weekend off. The likes of uh, of Rory and and uh, James Ryan, um, and Ken Healy, th those those guys have probably had the most game minutes so far. That was Jordan Armour. Um, he. he he will definitely be fit next time. Uh, next week, he uh, he hurt his finger, just got caught in the, in the fabric, and um, so we just decided that we'd leave him till uh, till the next match. Um, so he is he's certainly very fit. <laughs> the uh, the training uh, meters that he covers are exceptional. How excited are you to give Jack Ray a chance, and what have you like his season so far? Jack is. Impossible to ruffle. Uh, you know, we try to put a bit of pressure on him at training. He, it doesn't mean that it's all been seamless and gone perfectly, but if something does go wrong, he gets it right the next time. His ability to absorb information, to slot into the team, uh, all those things have been have been really first rate. And again, he went back to Connacht last week, and I, I thought he was really good for them. Joel, just in terms of Robbie Henshaw. Is it frustrating for you that he's not available? I'm sure you'd like to give him another run at 15 and another run at up. Yeah, I, I, we probably could have, but we don't want to do a disservice to Robbie either. We, we, he hadn't had a huge amount of volume uh, before he played the England test. Uh, we were in a different situation with Rob coming back, but, but Rob gave a lot of confidence to the players around him last uh, two weeks ago in Edinburgh. And we also want to keep him going because in the context of uh, who's had game minutes, Rob Carney hasn't had much either. So for Robbie Henshaw, he's a known quantity for us. We, we know the quality that he provides and you know, we'd have no hesitation in, in slotting him straight in against France wherever he best fits. At the same time, um, 
you know, Bundy has been really sharp at training this week, and I think he's gathering a bit of momentum, so we're really looking forward to seeing him go. And Chris Farrell, uh, on the back of very little preparation, he's another guy who needs game minutes, but did really well, we felt, um, in Edinburgh. So, uh, again, that's exactly what we want. We want guys going in and out as seamlessly as possible and still providing uh, a really high level of performance. Sean Crowland is a first Six Nations star. He's having trouble with that 67 caps. It's a first Six Nations star. Yeah. What sort of different weeks are going to be for him this week? Yeah, look, I, I'm sure he's excited. Um, you know, he's, he's trained well. Hopefully that gives him the confidence to, to step out and do a really good job. He... he he will have the confidence that he brings from the 10 starts that he has had in, in different fixtures, but the amount of times he's come off the bench and, and been involved in really important wins for us, I, I think, why not bring that from the start? I think it's a great opportunity for Sean, and, and it's one that I, I, I'm hopefully will grab with both hands. Um, you know, the third test in Australia, we actually named him to, to start that test, which was a big test, a deciding test in a, in a, in a big series for us, and and he picked up a, a very slight hamstring strain and just wasn't able to, to play that one. So it's not like um, he doesn't know we've got faith in him and, and I think he's got confidence in himself to deliver. You know, this game will just bring kind of confidence back into the team again? Yeah, you know, funnily enough, we, we felt we got a lot of confidence out of the last game as well, Edinburgh, uh, uh, in Edinburgh against... Uh, against Scotland, we know that they're a, a really good side and uh, you know, I feel for them a little bit this week without Finn Russell, um, have, him having to go back and play for his club in France, that, that's, that's tough because uh, I think he was in top form against us two weeks ago and, and uh, obviously they lost Stuart Hogg, but for us, we actually got some real confidence out of those first 20 minutes. You're up 12-3 against a, a team of that quality on the back of it. Uh, yep. Uh, people have said maybe a fortuitous try, but we actually worked the overlap well and, and we got the little bit of space in behind. And even if the pass didn't go astray, astray from um, uh, Tommy Seymour to Sean Maitland, I, I, th I think we still have them under real pressure there. So, uh, you know, and, and then Johnny coming off and then Finn Russell getting that uh, intercept. I felt we showed some really good resilience to come back and, and, and Ilzi took his try well on the back of Joey's line break. and. And, and I felt we we managed that game pretty well, considering we needed that result. Joe, what kind of pressure can Sean Cronin put on Rory as being a regular captain? You know, if he has a, a kind of performance we know he's capable of. Well, I, I, again, I, I'm sure that's that's his intention. As much as he's very team orientated, uh, Sean, he, he he will personally want to want to put his best foot forward, and. You know, to be fair to Niles Scannell, he'll be very keen to do the same thing because two years ago, uh, he was picked on the bench. Rory got ill the day before the game, and Niles Scannell came on, and that was that was really his big step onto the stage. He played superbly in that game, and so two years ago, he's he's just been in and out a bit since because of various injuries, but. Um, you know, I think both those hookers, it's really interesting for us to have a look at. At the same time, they're up against the Centurion in the Italian uh, uh, kind of hard man of the front row in Guerlini. I, I think that's a super challenge for them uh, in its own right, you know, and I'm sure that Lavotti, the way he, he scrummages is going to make it a challenge for them and and uh, and Ferrari as well. So that, that front row, it, that's a great little... Um, Probably challenge within the, the wider challenge of the match itself. Joe, we spoke about um, an edge and an energy uh, in the build up to the starting game. How do you feel that's progressed over the last few days? It's been good. It's been really good. There's a freshness. I felt we trained really well last Friday in the open session. The uh, you know the the energy there was was very much visible. Um, and I think the challenge when you bring that energy and enthusiasm is is to combine it with the accuracy required and that's that's the real challenge with the number of changes we've got it it, it will be a challenge and I, i've no doubt they'll unsettle us a little bit at times you know the guys like Mbanda um and tuavaiti in the in the back row they're, they're very big strong men and i thought stain was uh, absolutely outstanding in that last game so so their back row power is going to challenge us uh physically and um 
you know, I, I, th I think they've got some super guys in the backs. I think Luca Marisi, he, he suffered a, an injury maybe three, two or three years ago. Uh, until then, uh, he, he was unbelievably good for them, and he's just getting back to that now. And, and the likes of Campagnaro, Padovani, Esposito, th those guys are going to be a great challenge for us. Um, so I, I think the team are looking forward to that. And... Uh, Hopefully that energy you described can be matched by the accuracy we need and, and we can deliver a, a, a really confidence building um, performance. Joe, like mm -hmm. no change in the starting back, but the way the rest weeks have fallen, is there kind of less a reason or less an excuse to show up for the pack? Or was the, does that play into thinking when you're picking that starting Um Yeah, the, the way the weeks fall, the, they make it a little bit complicated because some guys now won't play for a longer period of time. And what we've got to do is, is, is keep them ticking over, keep them, uh, their, their enthusiasm certainly doesn't wane. Uh, just the, the game rhythm, it, it, it's not ideal. And, you know, there's so many things in, in a highly high performance sport that aren't ideal that you, you challenge players to best manage. And so, for the players who aren't selected this week, and I mentioned some of them, the likes of Ken and James Ryan and, and Rory Best, and you know, other guys like CJ Stander will come back into the equation for the France uh, match. Other guys, Jack Conan. There's a, there's a, a fair few guys who will be kind of waiting in the wings and, and really wanting to work hard to make sure that they're ready, even though they haven't quite had that continuity of game time. Jody. <coughs> It is a big blow for them to lose, but he's saying, like, obviously it makes their job a lot harder to try and beat Ireland. Yeah, it, it does, because he's talismanic for them. Uh, I think young Negri is, but uh, I, I guess he's probably maybe picked up an injury as well, because I think he's exceptional. I remember watching him play for the under-20s a couple of years ago and talking to Alessandro uh, Tonkon after the game, and they were very effusive in their, in their praise around him. So they, they probably, you know, the old master and the young and the young uh, recruit uh, not being in their back row. But as I mentioned earlier, it, it does still make for a, a very combative front row when you bring in Mbanda um, and Tuavaiti, uh, particularly on the back of probably their form back row or as good as Sergio is, is it, it, probably staying. So um, yeah, it, it will affect them, um, I've no doubt because because of uh, the standing he has, the respect he has, the, the gravitas that that, um, that Italian team uh, kind of invest in, in Sergio. Okay, guys, we're going to shut on to the uh, bar of the Wittenberg Park. It was easy. <laughs>